Hello everyone, welcome to Saturday, day 54 of my 100 Days of Making Comics, round two. So, the 100 Days of Making Comics, every day we try and find half an hour or more to work on our personal little uh, comic book projects. It was started by Kevin Cross of Monkey Mouth fame. You should definitely check him out because he's doing a, another round and he's slowly posting those videos from Patreon over onto his YouTube channel. So I'll be sure to post a link down below. There's lots of us, we call ourselves the Z100s if you uh, have a comic book project of your own and you're looking for that little bit of uh, discipline. Is that a fly? No, it's a mom. It's different. They're more like butterflies without the colors, I guess. As I was saying, this is my uh, full-on Saturday attack on this phase that I'm in where I want to get uh, started on the dialogue but I keep getting uh, <laughs> distracted by making little uh, amendments to the uh, the rough inks versions of my comic book and today I did pretty good I have to say <laughs> has become my ex flatmate and uh, cleaned out the room with all this stuff, had somebody over who took one look at my favorite cat and um, I had allergies, so it's not gonna be him. I have been working on my comics for three hours and I've been grinding away and I got up to page 13. Put the balloons on top where I was going to put the uh, dialogue that I still have to do. And I quite like this page, but I have a little bit more space. So, so we added the border here. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but I also constantly catch myself enlarging figures that are actually in the foreground. I don't think this is bad. But I, I just I just want to show you side by side the difference. These little two squat here I found nothing wrong with uh, short people, but there was something weird about it, so I enlarged his body. I made sure that Francis over here is much more in the foreground. Added the arm. Um, I felt like like he's he's a big guy, George, like like proper big guy. So he needs to. Like it needs to be more rounded um, and I enlarged him as well a little bit this is this is bigger than it is over here because I realized the perspective between these two characters like this is this one is actually bigger here than that one so that doesn't quite work and Vez needs to stand out from all of them like she like th these two are now in the same she's actually looking at him but he stands out a lot more the same with the panel over here you know, uh, in my mind, I constantly catch myself drawing the perspective guidelines. And it's like, because you can do this, like if the camera's from above, but this just makes more of an impact. I have also made changes here just to make sure that this is clearly visible. I enlarge it. Um, these two in the foreground are now actually more in the foreground enlarge them so she's bigger you know just a tad bit but it all adds up to the legibility and it decreases that flatness on my sketched pages this whole approach of going over the entire comic book one round after the next after the next and every time it gets a little bit more closer to what is ultimately going to become the finished comic book just improvements and so I think uh, I think I've made some uh, very nice progress today kept at it page 15 so this is the uh, the original rough inks. So after the pencils, went over it in inks, added a splash of color. So far, um, 
I haven't made too drastic of a change here, except for, as you can see, I up the contrast. Um, I had to create a, you know, I had to, I had the extra space, so I moved things up a little bit, added some more uh, billowing clouds just by copying this part over here, clone stamp tool, and then just proceeded to add the lighting effects and shadows, like deep shadows. And look, it's looking pretty good. Quite happy with how it's uh, turning out, but it also, um, one of the nice things of, of figuring out just how much contrast I want now is of course that, um, why are the, there are these bubbles here? They must be on a diff different layer. Um, is of course that when I start drawing this again, like I can tell that over here, like the, it's so deep, like I might as well just draw it black rather than spend a lot of time drawing in a lot of detail that is ultimately going to be all cast in shadows. Wow, well, six hours later, we've had three people visit more and uh, one of them is looking for a place in June and so it was a little bit like okay I guess you want to get started early but we're looking for someone now however the the timing is right for the other flatmate so we took his number he seemed like a cool guy um, but the first one you know cat allergies can't have that so uh, in between all that I keep on trucking on the comic book and like setting up the pages and I am now on page 19 I've done 19 pages so from page 7 yesterday to set it up to page 19 all of them have been converted to the uh, larger template got this which means which means seven more to go however I can get started if I want to have a writing session now I can just jump from page to page to page everything's been set up a lot of the art has been tweaked pretty happy also I need to take a break right now because I think like I've noticed that I'm just slowing down and I'm just not productive anymore so it's like okay quit quit while you're ahead okay good so with that you guys comes to an end this uh, Saturday episode of my 100 Days of Making Comics Round 2, day 54. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep me posted and uh, keep at it, you know. And if you did notice on uh, yesterday's video, the really short one, yes, that was me copying my Matrix fan edit. I found a file hidden within like, it was like three or four folders deep. But through a conversation with uh, someone returning from Italy, it was like, oh yeah, my hard drive's still dead, blah, blah, blah. And then we were talking about like Dropbox and I was having trouble with um, AirDrop or Air whatever on the Mac and my iPhone wasn't working and was really annoyed. And then I just started looking around in my iCloud folder because I make sure that all my comic book stuff is in the cloud, that it's all fully backed up. And, you know, just like going through some folders and there it was. It's not the latest version. So all the edits from the last month are gone. However, that's a lot more uh, doable for my blood pressure than not having it at all. Or having to get it from Holland because my brother has that backup copy. So yeah, more good news. And for now, time for me to enjoy the weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.